Coming up on Let's Play. The Fijiana battle to get into the World Cup squad before facing Canada in their final warm-up game. Canada is a huge team that we're going up against. They're ranked top five in the world. We come to practice, give it all we have. Girls are lifting their talent up because they want to go into the World Cup. Confidence that it was nothing. The girls are excited to finally play at home. We never underestimate playing big teams. Nothing is impossible for these women. Nothing is impossible. Fresh from victory in the Oceania series and in the Super W, Fijiana are back at home and in training for the World Cup. But success abroad can't mask the problems their more illustrious opponents don't have to face. A lot of our girls have to travel from so far. Even though training is at 10, they probably have to leave home at least five. With everything rising, like taxi fares, bus fares, been kind of hard for everyone to make it in training on time. Some of them will be late in training and when I'm asking them why are you late? He doesn't have the, the bus fare, he doesn't have money to come. Uh, one of the girls said I have to run a few kilometers and where can I catch the, the bus that can match that fare and then I can get in. Like lunches we come to practice if, if we have five sessions in the morning we don't really go home <laughs> just because with bus fares and stuff we don't want to pay that much to even go home and then come back in like two three hours to train so we kind of just stay here and have breakfast at the gym take a nap on the mats at the gym and then just be ready for the 10 a.m training and then go home straight after that and some are not allowed to go to training you have to look after the sisters uh, daughters or son so the responsibility is first home then rugby it shows with uh, Super W, with Oceania, and then building up to the World Cup. All these women are putting everything to this as well. They're taking time out of their day from work, from um, you know spending time with the kids and spending time with family, just to be able to do what they love. Well, hopefully, after the World Cup, they they will be contracted and and fully treated as professional rugby players. Hopefully, that will change one day. The World Cup squad is about to be chosen and the team are working hard to impress before tough warm-up games versus New Zealand Maori and Canada. Canada is a huge team that we're going up against so they're currently ranked top five in the world. We know that they're going to step up another notch um, just because we're all getting ready for the World Cup as well and we know that Canada is a physical, they're a lot more faster as well. There's so much uh, work on to do uh, getting chemistry and bond back in as a team and our fitness and getting back into the gym, working hard, having to bring in the new girls. Oh, biggest lifter right here. Oh, you. Right here. This is our biggest lifter right here. Vika, she got all the muscles that carry the team during their game. See, there you go. <laughs> this is Libby right here. She's, uh, she's like, where are you going? I'm talking to you. <laughs> we have our forwards right here. Always smiling, <laughs> and then she forgets to, to lift. But <laughs> we count every single practice as a blessing. That's why we're taking one day at a time. Uh, like we always say, we come to practice, give it all we have. I accept the challenge to work hard, keep the discipline, to be selected into his final numbers for World Cup. There was a lot of learning in the Oceania for all those locals, and now the girls are left behind. Their training is going to another level too. Girls are lifting their talent up because they want to, to go into the World Cup. They want to be recognized, to be selected. It's going to be going tougher going forward and, and some will be unlucky, not selected. So it's something that every Fijiana girl is looking up, looking up to now, going into World Cup. At the end of the day, I want to take the best uh, 32. So I'm starting to build up a core of the Fijiana into the World Cup. Dreams were realized when coach Siruvakula named his squad. The 32 women who had made the cut had all achieved their dreams, with just the warm-up game against Canada to go before the World Cup. Confidence. Confidence that impossible is nothing. Getting the right combinations in 
for that uh, Canada game is uh, huge, but also the girls are excited to finally play at home as a team. We, we never underestimate playing big teams. We are there to showcase the talent and, and lift our rugby into another level. So we, we are not going there to make the numbers, we are going there to compete. To compete and as any team to win and win with, uh, with style. On paper, Canada posed an extremely tough test on a soaking wet night at the HFC Bank Stadium. A big crowd turning out to watch their women's side in the last game before the World Cup. The first half was a brutal encounter. The Fijians standing firm under a lot of pressure from their more experienced guests. At halftime, the game was tied, nil all. In the second half, Fiji had cause for celebration when Akanisi Sukurwasa dived over after a breakaway run. But the Canadians' pedigree started to show and the match ended 7-24 to the visitors. I think we saw that there we were stronger than we thought we were, especially with them coming in. We knew that we just had to look at them as another team, praying for a World Cup, and we knew they were going to be just as strong. How does it feel to be going uh, to Fiji and as first ever World Cup? Oh, it's amazing. It's a blessing. It's an honor. I honestly don't even have words for it. You know, we still have the next game, which is England. That's our focus right now. And we know that with the support that we have and everyone that's behind us, um, it's, been, it's been a whole journey. It's awesome. Next up for the Fijiana is to head to the World Cup. For a lot of these players, the end of a long journey, but the start of another one. For me, uh, just being able to put in that white jersey means more than the world to me. It's going to be a privilege and an honor to be part of this uh, World Cup campaign. To represent Fiji, my country and my people to go against England, one of the best teams in the world, and play with my, to play with the team. It's almost like you're playing with family. <laughs> no matter who comes in at camp, as soon as we leave camp, we're a whole bunch of family. Nothing is impossible for these women. Nothing is impossible. Well, hopefully we will be the first ever team to bring the World Cup trophy here in Fiji. A anything can happen. Just be able to go through everything together and just be able to like stay together as a team no matter how hard things are. I think that sets like Fiji Rugby apart from like other teams. To finally wear those white and black colors on the field to play against the best in the world. It's a dream come true for every girl here.